Hey, how's it going? For today, what I have planned is to actually build our greenhouse. Now, I know in the last video, we kind of got started on it. We've got a small little island in front of the base. There's a tree on it. One tree, it's kind of the focal point of the greenhouse. We got the foundation set around that. It's kind of as far as we got. We started building the bridge that connects the small little greenhouse island over to the beach. And that thing took forever, dude. That thing was massive, fantastic looking, but very, very time consuming. Now, there's a problem with that. As you can see, that bridge is gone. So after the last video, I went ahead, edited it, uploaded it, and then when I would try to go back into the game to get ready for this build, it wouldn't load. Now I always make two saves, uh, or two backups of my game saves, just in case something happens, and this is the first time in over 2,000 videos of ARK that they wouldn't load, either one of them. Now there was an update, I'm guessing something with that update broke it, apparently they adjusted some of the clip points for things, and it seems how that bridge had so many parts, I'm guessing there was something in there that just wouldn't let the game load, so it kind of sucks, man. Ah, oh, dude, I was really wanting to finish building on it. We had electricity set up, we needed to get the generator set underneath the bridge, but is what it is, man. So, I'm not going to build it again, I'm going to kind of just go with this one. All that it is, is a regular little foundations or ceilings, and then these are the railings upside down, and those are stone pillars. That's all that I did to it. Had to reset the actual foundations over here too, because the only save that would load was the one that was before we did all this, right? It was actually the one that was ready for the, uh, the previous video. So I think it's set in about the same place. I actually got it a little bit lower, I think, because I think it's just right here is the only place where I had to use the walls and ceilings. All the rest of this is actual foundations. So it, it'll be okay, man. It is what it is. Today, though, we are focusing on the greenhouse itself. Now I have a slight design. <laughs> I say slight because, one, I don't know if it's going to work, and two, I don't know if we have all the stuff for it. It's going to be... It's going to be massive, dude. I know, I know. I always say we're going to build small. We never do. Welcome to me building an arc. It's the way that it goes, dude. So, let's grab some parts and jump kind of right into it. Super uh, disappointed. I actually had to move all these guys back out here as well. Because all this was done in the last video that got corrupted. They're all set out here. I did not turn on breeding yet for them to make the eggs. But, I did go ahead and move the Orvoraptor over here. A little bit easier to access him. He was kind of stuck under the, uh, the UD's foot right there. So, a little bit of a change. Now, I did a little bit of plant planting. Seems how I had a lot of time in between the last video and this one. We've got a lot of these things. I want to try to make these and those, that the angled ones, snap together. And kind of what we're going for on this is a dome, right? I wanted to kind of go out at an angle, up, and then kind of close in. Kind of a dome around the tree. And then I think what we'll do is we'll put crop plots on the bottom. And then I want to try to do some up a little bit higher, too. I don't know if we can kind of attach them to the walls. We'll have to see, man. We're also going to be building a slight little uh, deck around the outside, too, that I want to put plant species on. Just for looks, don't really need them, but might be kind of cool if it works. Gonna try to do some more stuff with the little half walls and, or quarter walls, quarter ceilings, whatever they're called. Let's grab some of you. Some of you. Actually, I think we need more of these than we do those. That'll kind of get us started. It's gonna be a, a big weight issue. Probably should have brought the Argentavis over here, just for moving stuff around. That or the, the Parasaur. I still want to get another one of those guys to tame up just for breeding. The colors on that one we have back at base. Dude, those things are fantastic. Let me grab some railings too. I removed the foundations around the tree. Had some issues to where the tree was glitching out. It wouldn't show that it was actually there if the foundations were there. Don't know if that's a bug with ASA. But removed them. Not a big deal. We can just put some railings around it. Kind of cap it off that way. I don't think we need 15. It's only six that we need. Let's remove two of them. Seems that we're kind of overweight. So kind of slow. But I don't know what to do about power over here. I think we might just do for lights and stuff, just some torches. We aren't going to be over here too much at night, so it doesn't really matter. And I was thinking about doing some maybe along this too, just the standing torches. Now, I'm not going to connect that down to here. I thought about it, since I had to totally redo this thing. But it's just easier to have it like it is. I kind of like it, man, with the uh, the railings upside down. It's kind of like a little boat dock, right? Bring your boat over here. Tie the rope off to that. Let's set these out to start off with. That should protect the tree. That's something I did notice, too. Whenever I was building this, it was storming. The tree itself moves when it's storming. It's kind of weird, dude. I didn't notice that with the grass and stuff. It does the same thing. If the wind's kind of blowing that direction, everything leans over that way. So, the bad part about that is, our tree might actually stick outside the glass whenever it's storming. We'll have to kind of play that by ear, see how it works out. Now, there's two ways we could do this, right? We could do it off of this one right here. I think over here, it might be 
too close. If we went up two, I mean, that might actually work. The main thing is I want to have all the leaves inside of the actual greenhouse, right? Let's try this side here, too. If we can do this and have it work, then we won't have to do the little uh, drop deck I was going to do outside here because we have the foundations out over here. We might just remove one row and drop it down right there. Let's try to butter this way. Let's do one more right here, just for testing. I don't want to get halfway built and then have to change it. Where is... So hold on, are we doing this backwards? No, that's correct. It should be correct. Right? Let's try something real quick. Yep, we need to move these. It needs to be on... So what is that one on? That one's on the... Triangles. So these need to be on the actual square foundations for this to work. If it's gonna work. I don't know if they're gonna actually connect. I didn't do too much testing off camera. I had to go farm up more crystal because, holy crap, these parts are super expensive, dude. Alright, so there's one there. And those are the triangle ones. Let's double check. Make sure that the leaves are not going to be poking out. Need to go in third person. There we go. A little bit easier to see. I'm not much for doing stuff in third person in ARC. It just, I don't know, it seems weird to me. Kind of disorienting. Can you clip? There we go. Right there. That should work, man. That should work. It's barely inside. Let's do one more over here. Again, if anything, we could always set it on the outside. The outside one there. It'll just be a bigger dome than kind of what I was hoping. So that's good there. Alright, let's see about connecting these with this. This one is backwards. I don't know if it matters, but I like to have all the uh, the pieces facing the proper direction, if possible. So that'll work, man. Nice, man. Nice. So I'm thinking if we go out to like that, right? We'll get up here. I don't know if we can actually connect glass walls to these and those, if it'll look right. If it does, maybe we'll do it. If not, I'm thinking about putting the half stone walls for our, our vertical piece. And then we'll kind of dome in the other way. And then all we have to do is make some of these and actually connect the top all the same way. It should be just built exactly like this. I'm hoping. I'm thinking. Possibly. <laughs> Have to see how it works out. Now, for the doorway over here, let's play with that a little bit. Go back to third person so we can see. But one of you. And one of you. We don't have to have a door, but I at least want some type of entranceway. And you know what? We might still do the drop down right here. I'll kind of show you. We'll see what we what we think about it. I don't know if we'll finish this in this video. So you guys can always leave me a comment if you think that it'll look good with the drop-down floor that I'm wanting to do or not. So that's good there. Let's, well, I was kind of thinking that might be... Let's look too bad on that. Wait, go back. I don't know. I don't really like it. What about... Like this. So we have that. For this next level, I think we need to do... Wait, are we doing... We're not doing these on the next level. Right? We have to offset it. So this should be... These up here. Right? Flip all the way across. And then, one of these. Wait. This is backwards, that's what it is. Get off of the tile, you pick it up, please. There we go, man, there we go. That's not too bad for an opening. Now, if we take some of the triangles and do... One right here, will it look weird? Oh, you know what? We need the, um, let's see if I have some. We need the other triangles, right? For, like, doing the regular roof. The flat ones. Might be able to put it there and make somewhat of a doorway. If not, we'll kind of leave it like it is. Doesn't look too bad. Maybe we can put some of the railings and stuff around to tie it together. That's those. Let's do... I think it's these. Slope. Let's make just two for the moment. Let me check on my cement paste, too. Had some making up. 
Yeah, there we go. Running kind of low on the chitin, but it's fine. We got plenty of the dragonflies around here. Went out there and started harvesting them with the cat. Ah, uh, dude, so many of them. Really need to get a frog for making the cement paste. Let's grab two of you. Let's grab a few more of these while we're going. Wait, not those. That'll work. Try to get that staged out. Not exactly sure how tall it's going to be, or how we're going to do the top, but... Like I said, I'm kind of hoping to put one wall, I don't know if one full wall, or just a half one. Might have to do some testing. If it turns out to be too short, we can always just make it a, uh, a full one, and then redo it. So that's there like that. I don't know if I like that. We'll have to, let's just leave it here for the moment. And once we get most of the actual base done, or not the base, but the building done, we'll come back and see. We should be able to attach some of the railings there, right? Can you go on the side with the railings? You can't. We can here, so I was thinking about doing that. All the way around. On this side, please. Cooperate, thank you. Like that. We still might do that. Could probably do pillars going up right there. Let's leave that. That might actually look good. Do pillars along the top too there. Nice, man. Nice. All right, cool. So, let me go ahead. Get these done. I'm going to go ahead and walk this all the way around. All we're doing is some of these. Like this. It's going to be a ton of these. Oh, man. Don't know, don't know if I'm going to have enough. That's going to be four of these, right? Four rings. Two here, the uh, half wall or full wall, and then two more, and then I gotta make a bunch of the flat pieces for the top. Now we're gonna have some railings up top too, to kind of cap it off. Might put some plant species up there, not too sure. But, yep, give me a minute, it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna take me a few minutes, kind of get these all walled around. Not too bad, not too bad, plenty of room. All the way around the sides, I like it man, I like it. So, for that level, that was, I think we had 50 of each. So we could definitely need some more of these. We might be good on those. Anything we have left over, we'll definitely throw into the grinder. Let's grab... Let's grab some of the half walls. And then we'll grab some of the full glass ones too. And do testing just on one side. I'm thinking just a half wall. Now I'm wanting to use the stone ones. For the half walls. Just because it'll kind of break up the whole glass look. I mean a full glass dome would look fantastic. But there's not these smaller greenhouse pieces. So it kind of sucks on that part. Let's... Start making some more of these while we're doing stuff. Which one is this? I don't want to make the wrong ones. Triangle roof. Triangle roof. Let's do... 20? Let's do 21. That'll give us the same amount as what we have over there already. And that'll be good there. We'll grab... Some of these. We got so many of these things left over. We'll be using it for the staging on the bottom part too. And then we need to grab... We need to grab the glass. Let's just do... I'm trying to think for height, man. That's already halfway up the tree. I don't want it to actually clip through on the top. Let's do a full glass wall. Let's do the full glass wall instead of the... half walls. Let's grab some water, too. A little bit of food. Guy gets hungry doing building. Really sucks that we lost... <laughs> we lost that whole bridge build, dude. I was so excited about it, man. That's the way that it goes, man. That's, a, I think, the first time, like I said, in Ark that I've ever had it to where I couldn't load my save games. So it kind of has me worried a little bit, too, with ASA. It's one reason why I'm not doing any of the mods and stuff, too, because, dude, until they bake for quite a while, is that going to work? I'm not going to even try to mess with mods. That's not going to work. Do I have any on me? I do. Let's try something. Let's see about... So you'll clip there. You'll clip there. I wonder if an actual wall will clip there now. Oh, it does. What if I remove it? Will it break? It won't. Let's do one more side over here. And then we'll see where we're at. wonder why I wouldn't clip to those without having a half wall to kind of space it out.
that is massive, dude. Oh, that is so massive. I didn't think it was going to be that big. I mean, we're kind of enclosed in a whole tree. That's, uh, that's part of it. Now, what I want to do, too, is where that is up there. I want to go ahead and run some pillars down just to make it look like that it's actually supporting it. That's one reason for putting the the uh, drop floor all the way around the outside so that it kind of clips into something and it's not just kind of free floating. Plus, having some of the plant species on the outside, I think it'll look kind of cool. Probably have them turned off just so that they don't pull aggro from other creatures. Let's get on the bird. I think that's going to be too tall. Oh, dude, I thought that was a... I saw the pig and saw the uh, the spikes from the turtle up there. thought it was a... A healing pig. I was going to say, what are those doing down here? Might be too tall. Ah, dude. It's going to suck if it is. Let's drop these off. Just for weight reasons. Oh, yeah. I need to check on my metal, too. I got some more metal smelting up as well. Whenever I went out to grab the crystal, I also grabbed some metal just for... I mean, you kind of need metal and crystal to make those. That actually might be fine. It looks kind of bigger than what it is, but don't forget the top's going to be flat, right? All right, let's go ahead and build it. Let's start on this side. We're only going to do part of it at a time. That way, if it's too big, we can always just go ahead, break it down, and put in the half walls. So let's give me these. Finish spanning those around the outside and half of each of those. Dude, the, uh, the heat around here, man. It's going through water like crazy, and I'm just wearing cloth. So, kind of weird. Alright, give me a minute. Let me, uh, finish running these around the outside, and then we'll try to build some of the top part. At least I don't need scaffolding. I was gonna have to make up a bunch of scaffolding, I thought, to be able to build this, but... Didn't think about these being kind of sloped on the inside. Might need to, to get to the top part, though. Just need to get up top, and then we can actually build off of that. Alright, so this will be halfway around. Let's go ahead and try to... Oh, removed them at the wrong point. Forgot to put the, uh, the other wall down. Let's try to do some of the top to see if it'll actually work out before we get too far with this. Alright, last two. There we go. So that'll be good there. Let's go ahead and... I need to set up some scaffolding. So, are we doing... I guess the same thing, right? We'll do the flat ones going that way, and then triangles over here. I'm gonna get... <laughs> I'm gonna get super confused building this. So the hard part's gonna be, oh, doing that. There we go. Now we can't only go up one if we need to. I think two is gonna be definitely needed. And that one there. Okay, okay. That works, that works. I'm not sure how to do our scaffolding to get up. Let's go ahead and do one more row on this side, and that side there, then we'll jump up top maybe with the bird. Is that right? It is. One more? Nope. Actually, we do need one more. Or do we? Not that one. Alright, so that'll be good there. Then over here... I don't have the walls far enough. Let's go this way. And that'll work there. So, what is our weight at? 163. We should be able to get on the bird and fly up. Really, really should bring the Argentavis over here for building. Keep saying it, but dude, I can't wait till we go to Lost Island and get the cinema crops. Can't wait for Wingman 2.0. Alright, buddy, hang tight right here. Don't fall off, please do not fall off. So, I think we need to do the triangles that way. Watch your beak, buddy. Watch your beak. Let's, let's, let's move you over some. Don't want any mishaps. That'll be tall enough. Oh, I'm so glad we did the actual full walls there. And then we'll just do, like I said, we'll do the same thing as we did on the floor there. I'll have to make up some of the triangle flat ceilings and then some of the triangle square ones. And that'll cap that off. Finish this side here. I need to check and see how much of the crystal we got left. We should have enough, I think. I hope. Wait, is that going to be... Make a flat one here. You see, on this level, you use a bunch of the flat ones, and then up here, you use a ton of the triangle. So it kind of evens out over time. I do need to make some more, though. I thought that was going to be enough. Easy. And then we're done there. Oh, that looks awesome, dude. Our big greenhouse dome. 
<laughs> it is so big, dude. It looks kind of awkward, but I'm hoping, really hoping once we get the pillar set around as our foundations and stuff, or not foundations, but kind of like the structure, it'll look a little bit better. Now, one thing I noticed, too, that I don't know why, the, uh, the triangle pieces, right? The triangle and these slopes. That glass looks a ton better than this glass. I don't know why they made them different. I kind of wish all of it was like this. I mean, if anything, you still can't really see through it, but it looks better than the, uh, kind of wavy glass, you know? Hmm, interesting. Anyways, all right, I've got a ton of building to get done. I will see you whenever we're almost done with the top. I'll come back whenever, uh, I'm working on the flat part to connect it in the middle. And we'll kind of go from there. We need to figure out something to do for the top two. All right, so we're just missing one of the triangles. Almost got the numbers right. You know, math is hard sometimes, but... I think it'll be good, man. So, need to count all the pieces down there as well. And make some of those up. Let's do a quick count, just a rough estimate. That is in line. So I would say... One, two... So that's gonna be six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's do... Fifteen of these squares, and then... It's gonna be six of those as well. Let's do fifteen and fifteen. Kind of see where we're at in life. That might be close enough. Please do not knock down the tree. That would be sad. A lot of people keep saying just to use the refertilizer if the tree gets knocked down. It doesn't really work like that. So, if you didn't know, whenever you have your building close to resources, refertilizer doesn't work. Now, it will on shrubs and bushes, stuff like that. Probably some stones as well. But if a tree gets knocked down... Make a lot of noise. If a tree gets knocked down... You cannot use refertilizer to grow back if your structures are nearby. And that would mean ripping down the whole greenhouse just to replace the tree. It's not going to happen. If that happens and we lose the tree, we're... <laughs> it's going to be just lost, man. We'll have to find something else to put in there to replace it. So, we need... Is it this one? One more of those. We're going to need 15 of you. We're actually going to have more crystal than I thought. Which is a good thing. Do I have to unlock the other ones? Let's do greenhouse. There we go. And let's do 15 of you. And we'll see how that kind of works out. We're not going to need no more of those. Let's take you. We can throw these into the grinder. Now I want to make sure that we're actually done with the whole greenhouse and we're not going to need them. We are going to... Probably use some of the glass... The flat ones like this on the inside? Possibly, maybe. Let's go ahead and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Why wow, those are crafting up. Why are you getting kind of close to the edge there? Just saying, just saying. Alright, so that's done. Let's let's stop laying you inside. I, <laughs> I don't want him to knock it down. I don't think he will, but just in case. Let's grab some water too. And so what I have planned is we'll probably leave this open by the tree. And we'll set down the crop plots. Now, they're going to be medium ones. You can only set those on the tiles. I want them to clip. I know we can set them in between without clipping, which we might do. But I want to put, like, one here. Then we'll put one of these, like, in the middle. Maybe all three. And then we'll have some up there as well. So we'll have them kind of staggered, right? Crop plot down here. Probably nothing. Crops up there. Crop plot down here and do that all the way around just so to kind of uh, add something to the ceiling since we have so much room. And the cool part is doing it like that staggered. This right here can be our ramps to get up, I think. I don't know. Let's try something. I didn't know we had that many on us. I don't know if I can fit. I can crouch. I do need to get up here to do some harvesting, right? To actually collect the stuff. So, it's going to be a ton of the vegetables. This might be our main greenhouse here for our kibbling stuff. This might actually be our main permanent base. I'm just saying, I, I really like it. It's nice and large, plenty of room for stuff, but we'll have to see how the, uh, the snow base works out. But that'll kind of work out, man. Let's go ahead and pick these up for the moments. Need those for the ceiling. We can start placing some of these down while the other ones are crafting up. That's kind of what I'm thinking about in there. Now, I wasn't going to do any of the berries. I was just going to do the crops here. As far as the berries, it's super simple to get those with just the, I mean, even the Anki, right? There's no use in having all those here, having to worry about the fertilizer, keeping them all nice and tended to.
We're actually not going to need too many of the triangles for this one. Now I'm hoping, it shouldn't really matter, but I'm hoping all of these side pieces are facing the same direction. Again, it shouldn't really make a difference. I almost fell through. <laughs> I'm telling Junior over here to watch out for the uh, getting so close to the top. And I almost fell in myself. Alright, what do we have? We got more of those, and then these. We're probably gonna have to make some more. You got a point, don't you? Let's do... We got three. Let's do wait. I still use him for doing the uh, the scout runs for grabbing drops and stuff. Again, we're still looking for some more flak parts as well as a long neck. We got quite a bit of taming going on here soon. So it'd definitely be nice to have a better long neck. Kind of coupling those with the shocking trank darts. Oh, dude, it'll be so nice getting stuff tamed in just a couple shots. Alright, so I had this totally backwards up here. I did have it to where it was mainly these, and then these guys in the corners, it's opposite. It's mostly of the triangles, and then one of the square ones in the corner. I had to go down and look. Something wasn't adding up whenever I got to the middle here. But we're kind of short on some pieces, so we've got four of those. That's plenty of those. We're going to need six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, about fifteen more of the triangles. Let's go ahead and make some. That should kind of finish that part off there, and then we'll start with the pillars and stuff, trying to get our structure made. Let's do... I think 15 should be good. And I could, might take the cat out there. Let's go ahead and use him for a pack mule. Load up some of the pillars. I don't have to keep running all the way back over here. I know it's not that far, but when you make multiple trips, it kind of, uh, <laughs> it kind of becomes a lot. Dude, don't crouch down, man. It's fine, dude. It's fine. Let's grab some of you. Now, we might need some more of these as well. We got a bunch of junk in there. Let's... Get rid of everything except for... This, that, and that. You got some points? Definitely going into damage. Guy needs all the damage points he can get. How are we looking here? We got five more. I also want to grab... Let's just take all of those. We're gonna need some of these again. Just for staging out. I think the other ones are actually in this. Try to keep it all together. There we go. How's your weight? You're fine. You're fine. And I might have some ceilings. We got 19. What about the triangle ones? I think that's these, right? Take those as well. And we'll see how that's going to look with the outsides. So that should be enough to get everything here done. You are super overweight. Tell you what, give me some of this back. Let's take... Half of those and half of these. Yeah, right. Can you move? Barely. It's fine, though. Grab the rest of our tops. We'll get on the bird, tell him to follow, lead him out on the dock, and then fly up with the bird and finish the top part, and then we're kind of done with the pterodon, I think. Unless we have to go back up top for... structure stuff. There we go, man, there we go. I thought you'd be in the water, buddy. I am super proud of you, I'm just saying. Let's go ahead and finish this off. Three of those. Iguanodon, okay. As long as it's a small creature and not a big one. There are Carnos around. Don't know if I've shown those in the video. I got attacked by a couple of them down by the water over that way. Kind of makes me nervous because our water pin will be over there. We need one of these. So we'll definitely have some plant species up. And it should be these around the whole middle. Holy crap, dude, that actually worked the first time. Doesn't always happen. And then up here, what I think we might do is probably some things around the side, some pillars for the structural look, and then probably just some some railings on top. Not going to do too much up here. Not much we could do. Now we could tear this up another level and cap it off, but it's already a ton of glass. I'm kind of shy on crystal for the most part. I've cleaned out the artifact case multiple times and don't want to have to go in there again. So something's going on over there. Wish they added in the list for... Like how S-Plus had with the plant species. That way you can pick what creatures that it'll attack. 
And which ones it won't? Don't come to this side, it's not any safer. Maybe it is? Plant species don't care? Alright. So! We're done with this. Let's grab... some of these, and I'll show you what I was talking about with wanting to do the structure coming down. Just for looks, that's all it is for. Kinda sticks off the side there. And we're gonna do this all the way around, I think. Let's just do a little piece here. Here comes a rain. I'll be able to show you what I'm talking about with the the tree kind of leaning. If it doesn't, I couldn't find the settings, I don't think, to turn off the uh, the sway. Yeah, see, it's kind of leaning over this way. It only does it whenever it's raining. It's like kind of looped over. Super weird, dude. But you can kind of see the grass, too. Like the plants right there. They're kind of leaning over. All the grass is. <laughs> I don't know, man. It is super weird, but only does it whenever it's raining. So, if we have these all the way around, we might be able to go ahead and I need the half walls. To make this look a little bit better. A couple of these as well. Take one of these. Nope, I need the half walls, not the, uh, the ceilings. Did I grab the walls? I did. I did, but I didn't. So if we put... What is this? These are the triangles, right? One there. One there. We can attach this down here. Right? That'll go on the side. And then... Let's grab some of the triangle ones. I'll kinda just do one part and show you my plan. Easy. It'll be the same design, and that'll kind of lead to right there. Then all we have to do, take some of these, and might do them the same upside down like we have there. Let's, uh, do a comparison and see which ones we like. I mean, that kind of connects like that. I wanted to have them straight up like this. But the pillars, you can kind of see, it comes down right next to the pillar. Now it's not actually connected to it. But it's almost there. So one of these, I'll have to go ahead and... I don't think foundations will work there. But I don't want to have these walls set there. If I pick these up... It removes it all. So I definitely need to have a pillar connecting it to hold it onto... The foundation here. Let's go ahead and put this back. Do some more testing so we can get that to stay. But it might look kind of cool as a border, you know? Around the outside of the base. It's right at water level 2. So... Really excited about that. Wait, wait, stop. Alright, leave that there. And then for the pillars, do we have one on, on us? We don't. Let's grab one. I don't know if it can go... We can. Right under here. Might do it on the back side. Just so that we can't see it. I was hoping it would clip under one of these. Now it might... Where does this one come down at? Right there. I was hoping it was going to be right on the side, but it's not. Is that in the ground? That one is. We could do a wall. I kind of wanted the floating look. We'll do that for the moment. When we get to the back side, we'll put some down so you can't actually see it. We should be able to remove these now. Nice, dude. Nice! Now for up here. We could do that look. We'll kind of match with the dock. Do this like this. We'll take some of the pillars. Set them as a border. And then we'll do some, of course, if we can, down here. Finish that off, and then for right here... That looks good. That'll be a good doorway for us. Ooh, maybe it won't. Hmm! Well, that's kind of interesting. We need some half pillars. <laughs> that's the 
The only explanation. Need some half pillars. Let's grab a couple more. And then we'll get on the bird, do an aerial view, and see if we want to keep it like that. If so, I've got a ton of building around the outside to do. I mean, we could just leave it like that, really. If we put these... I want you on the underside. But that way. Wrong button. Wrong button. That kind of works out without being able to put the uh, the pillar across the side or the uh, top. Hold on to this, buddy. Let me do some uh, checking real quick. See if we like it. I think it might be good. I'm not sure about the. I mean, it kind of looks good with the side ones. We had the pillars going all the way around. It's like a border holding up the actual dome, you know. I think it'll look good, man. You got enough stuff in there, too, for different contrasts, right? You got the stone, you got the wood, and then you have the glass look as well, which has kind of like a metal plus the uh, the actual transparency of the glass. You can kind of see the, the tree sticking out with the rain like I was talking about. Super weird. When I was doing a little bit of testing off camera, because I was trying to figure out how much crystal I was going to need, it kept doing that, and I thought the tree... I mean, it was raining. I thought the tree was going to be broken the whole time, but it's only... Well, the rain's going on. It should kind of lean up once the rain stops. But let's go with that. And I think for the border, we'll go all the way to the top there. And we won't do it on the very top. All right, we'll just go to the, uh, the top window right there. And that should be good for the stone. And then we'll do a border around here of stone on these, as well as the railings. Not sure if we'll do them right side up or upside down. I'm thinking upside down, just to have the same look as our little tiny, small dock down there. <laughs> I missed the big one. I don't know how the big one would have tied into this. I think it would have been good because it kind of kind of it would have connected, I think, right up to here. We'll never know. That's the thing. All right, man, give me a bit. And hopefully the rain will be gone. What time of day is it? That's kind of middle of the day, not too bad. Hopefully we'll get back before nighttime. And I at least want to get the frame done today, and we might work on the inside in the next video. We'll have to see. I want to do something up here, too. I don't think there's anything we can do for hanging stuff. It'd be kind of cool to have crop lots up there, even if we don't actually use them. Just to have have the look, right? I like the tree, though. Ah, it looks so nice. When it's standing straight up, that is. This whole leaning over thing, I don't like it. All right, so we got some issues. Let me grab some more parts real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, we're right. Wait. Let's not grab that many of the parts. I don't know why these weigh so much. Holy crap, they weigh so much, dude. I need quite a few of them, too. So, the walls, right? When you attach a wall to a pillar, one of them looks good. The other one, it kind of clips through. So, I'm hoping it's going to work like I'm thinking. So, for... What is that one? The triangles, right? They don't actually clip in right. They kind of halfway clip in and halfway show the wall. Kind of like right here. It's it's super weird, dude. But like right here, on the actual foundation, it's flush. So we can have that out here and have it look good. Now we are going to be painting that in there. And I'm wanting to make it somewhat so it looks good. I don't want to have the pillars on the outsides. So we can do a span here, right? We can do the walls here. Have this for the foundation support off of that wall. And then skip it here where the triangles are. It's kind of it's kind of super weird, dude. I'll put these back down here. Easy. I'll clip one on the side over here and show you what I'm talking about, how it looks off. So if you put these right here. Yeah, see? You got half of it showing through, and half of it being the actual triangle foundation. Not sure why that's a thing, but I mean, it's arc, so it kind of is. Do I have the pillars on me? Let's get rid of some of these. I'll show you where I'm at real quick. I got a ton left to do around the outside here. That's good there. Alright, so. How is our weight? Super heavy. The bird should be able to fly. Actually, we don't need the bird. But that's kind of where I'm at with the pillars and stuff. Like I said... We'll do a ring around the top with pillars and then probably the upside down railings. That might look good. I kind of like the doorway though, man. Doorway turned out a lot better than I thought I was going to. I didn't check to see if I if I could actually get in. We are almost too tall. If our hair grew anymore. We wouldn't be able to get in or out. It works though. 
And it looks good in here. It's got a border up around the top. I thought about doing some more, but don't forget we can't actually have borders on or of the railings on the slopes. We could do some of the the wood ones. We might do something like that where the where the pillars are. Down this one. Bring a railing and a railing. And just do it on the corners. Nope, it's going to be at an angle. We'd have one at an angle that way, then straight down. Let's not do that. I didn't think about them not connecting the same place and stuff. Hmm. Had to see. Might be able to do something up higher with some of the wood just to change up the texture a little bit. It's kind of all just stone and glass up there. I like how it is down here with this, the, uh, the wood, right? The brown kind of adds to it. And don't forget, we're doing some of the regular wooden ones right here. Maybe. Kind of cap this off. I don't like how the pillar isn't on the corner. I was kind of hoping that it would kind of line up. Seems how the whole thing's built the same way, but it doesn't. However, it still looks a lot better than just having no border down here at all. It's kind of in the middle, too, where this one is. So it's not all that bad. I mean, that's bad. Now, I thought about putting some walls down here. Regular ones. I don't think they kind of count as a foundation, clipping it into the... The ground down there, right? Instead of doing the half walls over here. And then around here, we're just going to have on the flat ones, we'll do some plant species. Like two of them here. Skip the ones here, and then do two here, and do that all the way around. That way we got some, uh, got some greenery around here. It'll kind of fill in this void here, too. Alright, let me go ahead and get this done on the outside here. And that should be the outside totally complete. We'll jump on the bird, go up there, and... Finish capping that off. How many of the pillars? We got seven. I got some more in the vault in there. Have to grab some of those. So I didn't notice it until I got to the back side here. We only need those half walls on this side because the foundation is higher than what the, uh, or it's lower than what these are wanting to clip to. On this side, right about here, the foundation is actually at the bottom. So these are clipping to the bottom of it. So technically it has foundation support. And I don't need to do the walls, so we'll probably not do them just to save on some parts, right? For the build. It's already a, <laughs> a massive amount of parts for this build, as well as that. Just think if we had the... Does that clip the same? Oh, it does. Just think if we had the bridge here, too. That'd be a ton of parts. All we have left for down here is these. Had to make up some more. Is that gonna... Yep, clip to the same place. I'm glad those kind of line up, you know? If they didn't, I was going to go ahead and just do it upside down. I think having some upside down and some right side up kind of changes it up just enough. Oh, I forgot the pillars on the corners here, too. And we still got to run water out here as well. I think with the tap, where it's at, we might need to just put some of the... the tanks inside. I might do some anyways just for looks. I mean, it's a greenhouse. It should have some of the water tanks. Put a couple of these. And then we'll go grab some more pillars, fly up on the bird, and finish our top real quick. And that will be the shell for today. I need to make up a ton of the crop plots. Kind of need to figure out what we need. I think I might have some at the old base. I don't know for sure. Was that the right amount? That's perfect, dude. Perfect, man. All right, so, Junior. Oh, we only got one of those left. We're going to need quite a few. Let's give you these. Let's grab... I think I might have some more. I did make some. Might have been all that was on me, though. We don't have any of the wood railings. I got a ton of the walls. I need to grind a bunch of those, man. Get some of our stuff back. And then... <laughs> we still got 97 of those. Let's grab some of these. We'll do that first. 22 should be plenty. I really miss the crafting tables from S+. That way you can kind of set those crafting your parts and stuff while you're doing other things. I was hoping they were going to have something like that in ASA, but they don't have an equivalent, you know? And then I think for these, we'll do... like that. Again, just to kind of match the bottom down there. I guess with the bridge gone too, at least we can see the waterfall <laughs> from our base. Dude, that bridge was so massive. Where did that clip to? Way down here. That bridge was so massive, man. I like it, though. I like it. I was really excited about trying to get the generator stuck underneath the center. That's kind of what I was going to do. 
We were going to remove all of the pillars from the inside, where we did in the roof, you know? Try to open that up some, and then... I was thinking, it was high enough to be able to put the... Like a little drop floor in there. Hide the generator, then we could have done the lights on the, the outsides here, too. Let's grab a couple of these wooden railings, and we are done for the day. Ton of building, man. Not very much for you guys, but a ton off camera trying to get all that glass and everything set. So we need some of these. We're gonna need some of those. And a little bit of this. Not sure how many we're gonna need total. But we do need railings for all kinds of stuff. Go ahead and make 50. That should be plenty. I like it though. It's kind of uh, not really what I thought it was gonna be whenever we started building it. But the, the dome itself looks kind of cool. Perfect height for the tree as well. And then like I said, it's not raining so it's not sticking outside the glass. And there we go, man. Not too bad. Kind of wish they stuck up a little bit more, but it'll work. And we might put some torches up here as well. Maybe with some of the angler gel. I don't know for sure about that. We'll have to see. And I was kind of wondering, what if we fall off? Holy crap, dude, that was close. We can do them here, too. Let's do that and see how it looks. Again, just to kind of change up the, the look. I like that. Let's go ahead and put those around the sides, too. I got plenty of them already made up. Need to grab them out of the vault, though. God, man, these things are super heavy, dude. Holy crap. The, uh, the railings weigh so much, man. Probably not the best thing to be on a glass roof that's on a slope while it's raining. Just saying. My professional building opinion. There we go. So, out of those 50 that we made, we got, <laughs> we got a whole three left over. I like it, dude. I like it. Oh, it's gonna look so good once we actually get... Oh, you know what? Hold on. I can't go yet. Can't go. I gotta do some more around the sides here. So I need what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen more, plus we got three there. All right. Tell you what. So we can't go until that's done. Let me make some more up. Maybe the rain will be gone. We can actually look at the, uh, the dome without the rain. Railings are done. Still raining, but it's fine. I think it looks good because then we have the railings down there. We got them there and up top, so it kind of ties it all in together. We've got all the pillars. I think they're all facing the same direction and not twisted. I'll have to double check off camera that none of these are messed up. I like it, dude. I like it. Once we get the painting done on it, it'll look a lot better, too. I want to do the same kind of theme as in there, right? So we don't have any wood that needs to be painted. But, as far as all these, I want to go ahead and paint the floors the same, if we can. And then, I think just leave all the wood, actual wood. Maybe we'll paint the nails brown, or something like that, or maybe black. Just to change up the texture a tiny bit on that part. Really wish we could have got the stone to go across right there. I don't think we can, right? It's one tile, there's a half on each side. I mean, it's fine. Kind of looks cool with the, uh, the slope right here, as well, though. Ah, dude, well... Not too bad of a day. The greenhouse finally got started. We didn't actually get it done. It's a ton to it, man. Like I said, however much you guys see on videos, there's always about another hour or so off camera trying to get stuff done where I cut. And then we want to go ahead and get the crop plots on the inside. Get those sorted out. I want to try to do some of the ceilings uh, one tile up, like I kind of showed you, and put some there. Need to get water in, and we need to get a tiny bit of painting done. Not sure if we'll paint the pillars, but at least get the foundations and probably the face of the walls. The little half walls that are on the platform down there. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.